I've opened the Smalltalk image, i.e. the Smalltalk environment, and here we can see some atoms that are bouncing in the image. We obtained those atoms as a result of the execution of the class on the left, Bouncing Atoms Morph. We can see what we can do with these atoms later on. For now, let's build our first class. We make it in an unusual way, and we're helped by a comparison with Java. With Eclipse, we open the Class Creation Wizard. And we input the name, My Humble Class. Let's click Finish. The wizard has created the file, put it in the default package. Actually, we haven't defined any packages. And now we have our nice class. Now in the SM environment, we open a workspace, i.e. a working environment. And we write object, subclass, my humble class. Perfect. Now, we select the line and, with the right mouse button, we click Do It. Thus, we've created the class. How can we be sure? Let's open a class browser, and at the end, we see our beautiful class, My Humble Class. What's happened? The interesting stuff is that we didn't create a file but we sent a message to the object called object. We stayed with the object paradigm. Essentially, we called a method and created our class. Now, let's see an example of the power, the expressiveness, the playfulness of Smalltalk. Let's open our class browser and let's try to find a message at random. We see that at random is implemented by three objects, a collection, a matrix, and an integer. The collection is a collection of objects and, as we can observe, at random is about randomness. At the bottom, we see some comments. You can see comments because they're enclosed in quotes. Here, there are some examples. Let's start with one. From 1 to 10, i.e. an interval. We send the interval to the message at random. We do so via comments. I don't know if you can see it. Right button and click print it and we obtained two. Let's try again. Select, right click, print it again, eight. 